So you're wondering, what are the benefits of a second passport? In this video, I'm going to break down some of the benefits that you can expect by having a second passport. Now, I think prior to 2020, most people didn't really see the benefit to a second passport, especially a second passport that was deemed to be of lower quality. I know that growing up in Canada, I had lots of buddies that were of Jamaican descent, of Indian descent, of Greek descent, uh, basically from, you know, people with parents from all over the world. And I would ask them, I would say, hey, do you have that Jamaican passport? Do you have that Trinidad passport? Do you have that Argentine passport? And in almost every situation, people would say, no, I don't really see the benefit. You know, I'd probably have to go collect some documents or something. And uh, bottom line, I just don't have it. And I would say, dude, you should go get that Trinidad passport. There's no downside. There's no military service requirements. And if there's no downside, if there's no worldwide taxation like the US, if there's no military service requirement like Greece and maybe Armenia and some countries around the world, if there's no downside, then there's only upside and you should absolutely get it. So we're 100% advocates of basically getting any second passport that you can get that has no downside. And long story short, the passports that would have a downside would be anything with military service that can't be avoided, anything with citizenship-based taxation, which is basically just the US and Eritrea and maybe one or two other exceptions, and then um, anything on a blacklist like Cuba, Russia, Iran, Syria, Iraq, Somalia. And, you know, there's maybe like eight countries that show up on sanctions lists. So obviously don't get a second passport from a country that's experiencing sanctions. But other than that, the other 180 passports in the world are totally legit. And you should get that. You should get that second passport because it has benefits. So if you told me, hey, my Latin life, uh, you can get a Kenya passport. Do you want it? I would say, hell yeah. Give me that thing. <laughs> if someone said, hey, do you want a, I don't know, Indonesia passport? Do you want a um, Rwanda passport? Do you want a um, Guyana passport? I'd say, yeah, hook me up. I want that Guyana passport. Dude, I'd be willing to pay like 10 grand plus for a guy and a passport if I could. And it was, you know, legit because there are benefits. Every passport has benefits and all the benefits uh, differ depending on the passport, obviously. But then there's also benefits to any second passport, right? Any second passport is going to confer a certain number of benefits. So what are some of those benefits of any second passport? Well, one is definitely going to be travel flexibility and freedom. A second passport can allow visa free or visa on arrival access to more countries, making international travel easier and more convenient. Chances are any second passport is going to give you a little bit of additional coverage, right? Maybe your passport, your second passport is from a different continent, from a different economic zone, from a different political alliance, maybe. And it's always going to give you a little bit more benefit. For example, let's just say Canada and Ireland. Obviously, Ireland is going to give you additional benefits. It's going to give you benefits in the EU. Maybe it has visa free access to Russia or Iran or something, whereas Canada doesn't. Maybe it gives you visa free to Venezuela where Canada doesn't. Things like that. So you're going to increase your travel flexibility and freedom simply from a additional visa free and VOA countries. The other thing is that you can play around with the stamps and um, your travel history. So this is an advanced concept and it's something we talk more about in our mentorships and in the LATAM insiders group that we have and you know, with my VIP clients, but there's, there's a lot you can do with stamps and you know, where you in and if you want to show or hide particular travel history obviously israel is the most common example maybe you whip out the american passport for israel but if you want to go to uh, egypt next or something then you whip out your second passport things like that and there's even more advanced strategies wink wink nudge nudge and and we can definitely help with that another one would be business opportunities so holding a second passport 
can open up new business opportunities, the ability to operate in countries uh, with favorable tax laws, different economic policies. It might allow you to open a bank account in that country. Maybe as we talked about Guyana, let's get a Guyanese bank account. Kenya, let's get a Kenya, Kenyan bank account. You know, it, it's really gonna allow you to internationalize a lot more and more than just the country, open you up to different economic blocks around the world because most countries belong to some sort of economic block. Another one would be tax planning. Some countries offer favorable tax regimes and a second passport might allow you to optimize your tax liabilities legally. A fourth benefit might be political and economic stability and having a plan B. So in the event of political or economic instability in your home country, a second passport can provide a safe haven, allowing you to relocate quickly and legally. For example, if you're Canadian or in the Americas, we don't have the same benefits of the EU and freedom of movement. Um, and, and when you have a second passport, it gives you more freedom of movement around the world. It at least gives you one other country you can legally live in. If you're American, if you're Canadian, that's the only country right now you can legally live in. I guess Americans could go to Guam or Palau and I think two or three other countries where there's like a free freedom of movement thing. Canada has freedom of movement with zero countries. And so if you're Canadian and you only have a Canadian passport, you only have one country in the entire world where you're legally allowed to live. So when you get a second passport, at least that opens up at least one more country where you're legally allowed to step foot because as we know from what happened in 2020, visa on arrival or visa free access can change at a moment's notice. Another benefit of a second passport could be education and healthcare. You get access to a different education system, a different healthcare system, Maybe university is cheaper in that second country and it's still a legit, uh, widely recognized educational institution. Well, if you can you know, avoid paying 60K a year in the US and go to a different country and get a free education or one that's a fraction of the cost, maybe that has some benefits. And the same to be said about healthcare. A sixth benefit would be retirement options. So if you have, as I was talking about, a second country where you can legally spend time, that's also a country where you could maybe legally retire. Maybe it's a lower cost of living country. A seventh benefit would be property ownership. So certain countries have restrictions on property ownership by foreigners and they only allow citizens to own property. Well, if you have that second passport, if you're a citizen of that country, then you can legally own property there. And that's gonna allow you to diversify internationally in terms of your real estate holdings. And that second passport will allow you to bypass those restrictions, allowing you to invest in real estate internationally and actually give you a leg up on the other competition. I'll give you an example. In Mexico, maybe if you follow my Latin life, you know this, that only Mexicans can buy real estate on the coast without creating a trust structure. So if you had a Mexican second passport, you would have a leg up on the competition because you would be able to invest on the coast and own that coastal property free and clear. Okay. And there's so many more opportunities, employment opportunities, banking, which we kind of talked about before opening bank accounts in different countries, citizenship for family members, often a second passport can be extended to immediate family members, to parents, to children, providing them with the same benefits and advantages and it can be passed on. So let's say you pick up your Guyanese, Trinidad, Jamaican, Kenyan citizenship. Well, you might be able to pass that along to your kids. There might be citizenship for say grandchildren or great grandchildren. And even if, it can't be passed along. Maybe you're the cutoff generation, right? You never know if those things are going to change in the future. Those rules honestly change all the time. And so you never know if down the line they create some rule saying, Hey, if you're, you know, of descent 
from you know a uh, an ancestor then you can get the passport or you can get residence so even if right now your kids can't get that second passport due to a particular law that law could change in the future and in the future they could get that citizenship or maybe even residency so and probably another side point there is a lot of people only think about the passport but there's also re residency benefits as well where Maybe it could allow you to get temp residency or accelerate your path to permanent or accelerate your path to citizenship. For example, in Mexico, if you can prove descendants from a Mexican ancestor, even if it was five generations back and you can prove it, that can accelerate your path to citizenship. It won't give you on the spot citizenship, but it'll accelerate your path to getting that citizenship, shortening it from five years of residency to two years of residency simply by proving an ancestor, even if it's way, way back, right? So there's all these different hidden benefits of a second passport, things that you wouldn't normally think of, and it's gonna be different for every country, right? For every region, uh, you know, it depends on ancestry, it depends on how you're gonna be able to pick up that second passport. Maybe it's through marriage, maybe it's descent, maybe it's investment, lots of different options, and so, the way I think of it is there are benefits of a particular second passport and then there are benefits of any second passport and you the listener should try to get any second passport because there's just so many benefits to having some kind of second passport. If you enjoyed this video, you should check out some of the other videos on our channel. There's probably a suggested video popping on your screen now so that you can more about how to internationalize and how to take advantage of all the benefits of Latin America and geo-arbitrage.